the throat is swollen up and I have pain here. What I'd like to do, if it's all right with you, is try and have a look at the back of your throat if I can. A GP consultation on your phone and in your living room. Welcome to Mobile Health, where you can speak to a doctor on the phone or by video link seven days a week. Trupti couldn't get an appointment with her GP in South London for two weeks, but with this app, she spoke to a doctor and got the help she needed almost immediately. This is like the, the best thing I can get sitting at home because sometimes I can't make it to the doctor. There are several smartphone apps that provide the service, costing as little as £4.99 for a monthly subscription or up to £30 for a one-off consultation. So the idea behind these apps is to give people access to a doctor when they can't get an appointment with their GP. So, for example, if I was feeling a little bit under the weather today, I could download and log on to one of these apps, choose what kind of doctor I wanted to see, and then book in an appointment. And the app promises to have a doctor call me back within minutes. Good morning. This is Dr. Butt speaking. Welcome. Babylon Health is one company that also works with some of London's GP practices to help reduce waiting times. But its founder says demand for its private service is growing, with more than a thousand people signing up every day. We today cover almost 300,000 people. A very big chunk of them are in London. This will, in the long term, or even today, can relieve significant amount of pressure from the NHS in Britain. According to one report, a third of patients in London can't get an appointment with their GP or have to call back at a later date. So could this technology offer an alternative in the long run? What we actually need is more GPs spending longer with their patients and their communities with these apps, with web-based systems, e-consult, supporting that process. But certainly I don't think we'll ever replace it at all. Mobile healthcare might not suit everyone, but for those who do have time constraints, what it can do is provide reassurance and advice quickly. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.